One day I was on my way to the gym, seven o'clock in the morning, I never forget. I'm walking on campus and out of nowhere, I collapsed. I didn't know what that felt like. Like, I mean, I didn't know why. I, I was just so confused. I got up, I brushed myself off. I went to the emergency room. They did all this blood work and um, they came back that there was nothing wrong with me. It was probably due to stress. But I knew there were some signs or something else was going on because I'm very in tune with my body. I went to one of my specialists and they did some blood work. They sent me to a nephrologist. At that time, I didn't have insurance, right? Because, you know, I was a student. And so Dr. Cobb saw me at Grady Hospital and he was like, um, yeah, you have kidney disease. And what we're going to do is do a biopsy. And he came back and said, I had FSGS. And that's when he told me, That's when he told me it was an irreversible. <laughs> he told me it was an irreversible. He said, once you're diagnosed with kidney disease, you know, we, all we can do is stabilize it and manage it. And it's the first time in my life I felt like I didn't have any control. So over the course of the nine years, my kidneys have been stable. I've, I've been in stage three which is an awesome thing. I had to learn how to manage all of that through my eating and my diet. So initially I was on medication, but by the time I managed the diet portion of it, they were able to take me off all of those medications. So now I'm just on high blood pressure medication as of today. Get your annual checkups every single year. That's one of the things I think um, people don't do faithfully and ask for renal panels. So oftentimes when you go to the doctor, they do screenings, right? They ask you a series of questions. I tell people all the time, no, ask them for a renal panel. Run my renal panel. I am black, I'm African-American, kidney disease run rapid in our community. I'm a person of color. I need to know exactly what my creatinine level is. Oftentimes I think we give doctors way too much control and we follow their recommendations without questioning. And it's nothing wrong with questioning your doctors if you have questions. And so always walk in there prepared and let them know what you want, what you want to try, and is this helpful.